So you're a broke artist and musician, and that's okay as long as you're willing to not stay that way. The first thing is to acknowledge it, and then the second thing is to change your mindset. Stop seeing yourself as a starving artist, but see yourself as a starring artist. And I want to congratulate you for taking the first step by watching this video because it's not so much about where you are or what happened in the past, but where you go from here. That's why in this video, I'm going to break down five things you can do right now to stop being broke. But don't let this video just inspire you without you taking action. Don't be addicted to information and allergic to execution. Action fuels success. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is to sell something. Now, most people might say, you know, sell some of your designer clothes that you're not using, your old Blu-rays, maybe your TV, maybe even your second car that you have. Sell something so you can get some money in today, which is great. I would do that. Go through your closet, go through your basement, sell some stuff. But for me, who had just quit his job and my only income was my music, I was struggling. And so I had to sell my time. And that's what I would suggest you do when starting is to sell your time. What do I mean? Well, as an artist, I could put on a 30 minute or to a one hour show with my DJ or breakdancer at the time. And so I would send out like 50 emails a day. I would email clubs. I would email bars. I would email churches. I would email schools saying, look, we have this show. And I also have a story about, you know, overcoming fear and losing my dad to suicide and not getting giving up. And what I want you to do right now is post below this video, do you have a story? Has something happened in your life that you overcame? Do you have something that you could share and encourage people with? Because your story is so powerful and if you wanted to get booked anywhere, people connect to your story. And I don't care whether you're in a club, bar, church, school, doesn't matter. Definitely for schools and churches. But I'll never forget when I did a show in a bar one time. It was for Canadian Music Week. And I remember when I shared my story. The manager that I was working with at the time, he came up to me. He's like, dude, when you shared your story, everybody went like this. He said they just leaned in. And so if you have a story, I want you to practice getting better with it. But then I want you to send out emails to whether it's public schools High schools, colleges, universities, doesn't matter. Let them know, look, you have this show that you can put on. I got some great music, but I also have a story. And what's so powerful about this is that schools have budgets. Churches have budgets. A lot of bars and other you know, places that want you to perform have budgets. But if you can tack on that story, plus you can put on a great show, well, then you can get booked. You see, if you don't want to work for another company, well, then work for yourself and put in the work to send the emails. Because I realized that if I send out 50 emails, I'd get 10 responses. Out of those 10 responses, I'd normally get maybe two to three shows booked. And so once I knew the numbers, I just started cranking it out, baby. And this is what I learned really quickly. Either I'm going to work hard to make my dreams a reality, or I'm going to work hard for somebody else to make their dreams a reality. Let me know in the comments below, whose dream are you going to make a reality? Number two. Now, if you have a job, why not work more hours? Why not get that overtime? Why not show up early and stay late? Especially if you work on commission and get some more sales and then ask your boss for a raise or just get that double time going. Why would you try and get a second job when you've already got a job? Why not squeeze all the energy and time you can out of that and get paid more from that and then funnel that into your music career to get it growing so it's making money. I have a friend who um, did training fitness and he taught me like uh, Muay Thai and stuff like that, but he also worked for a car company. Well, there was a time, yeah, he made money from me and, and all those different people that would train with him, but he also would put in the overtime so he could get that extra money coming in while he was growing his side business until his side business fully vanquished out his uh, what he was making at the job. So why not for just a period of time, you work the extra hours, work the overtime, ask your boss, is there other things I can do? Serve, show that you're hungry, and then you'll be given more to do, and then your money goes up. Because like there's money sitting right there, you just have to ask for it. Number three, and this is one of my favorites, and this is what I would do if I was starting over from scratch, and that's go live on YouTube, 
or Instagram or Facebook, I don't care, all three of them at the same time have your iPad, your iPhone and your tablet in front of you. Go live on all three, perform some songs and do this one crazy thing that I always tell artists to do and that's ask for money in between the songs. Hey guys, I hope you really like that song. If you wanna support me, I got a link below. Um, you can support me on PayPal or here's my Cash App thing. All right, this next song was inspired by, and then you go into the next song. You see, don't be scared to ask for money. And if you're not making money, the question I wanna ask you, do you have a way that fans can even give you money? Like if you set up a pay you anything on PayPal or um, Cash App or a way people can just send you money, right? Like. Fans can't take an offer you don't make. And what I've noticed a lot of times is uh, artists are not making enough offers. Like one way just to increase your income is by asking and telling people that you have something available. Maybe you have merch available, but you've got to be willing to go live every week and build that fan base. And you might be saying, well, I don't have a very big fan base right now. Well, good, perfect. This is a great way to start building it. And, and people are gonna wanna support you. They love to support the underdog, but you gotta be willing to start at zero fans if you wanna get to a million. Everybody started at zero. Don't be afraid of small beginnings. All right, get excited about it so you can watch it grow, but you've got to sew into that thing every week and you got to be willing to ask. I remember when we would do live shows and I would normally, there's normally used to be only one part of the show where I would tell people about our merch table, but when I started to slip it in a second or third time, guess what? Numbers went up. Because people didn't, you can't assume they know you've got a hat or you've got a sweater, or you've got a cool guitar USB key with all your songs on it like I do, right? You, you got to tell them. And so people might want to support you, but you only said it during this one part of the set and they weren't in there, they weren't paying attention. But if you learn to just say, hey, you know, if you guys have been watching for a while, you can support me right here. Just click the link below. All right, we're going to go into this next cover song. It was inspired by this. And you just say it in a really cool way, but you've got to be be willing to put the reps in and put the work in. Number four, and this is my favorite one, increase your skills so you can increase your value so you can increase your prices. Ah, oh, I love that, right? Increase your skills so you can increase your value so you can increase your prices. What do I mean? Get better at that which you do. Maybe you make beats. Maybe you do production. Maybe you do mixing. Maybe you do mastering, and I'm talking within the music business, right? But get better at that, and then charge more for it, or learn that skill so you can charge for it. Learn how to book shows, learn how to tour manage, learn something within the music industry, and then be a master of it, and then charge for it, right? Get better at it as a songwriter, as a performer, grow your business. That's music related and directed, directly related to music. But what about non-related, right? What about graphic design? What about video editing, right? What about animation? What about logo? Something that artists and musicians need, need that, that's required inside of our business, but you can charge for it. Right? You learn the skill, you master it so you can add more value and then you can charge more. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? If you've got a skill like that, post it below. Number five, and this is one of my favorite ones coming from my book, From Red to Black, which talks about Swiss dollars and stop trading your time for dollars, but make Swiss dollars, which stands for sales while I sleep soundly. You will never become financially free until you stop trading your time for dollars. Now, before I get into this, make sure you get a copy of this book. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Audible while I'm reading it. I'm actually narrating it. A billionaire did the forward to this. This shows you how I went from broke, busted, to financial freedom. Went from zero to six figures to multiple seven figures. Game changer, I'll put the link below. But what do I mean about Swiss dollars? Well, you gotta be able to earn money while you sleep. You need to detach your earning ability from your time. If you only make money when you're clocked in and your butt's at the, in that seat at your job or standing as a barista at Starbucks or even playing a show, right? Because that was for me. I would only get paid for playing shows, but I could only be at one place at one time. But when I started to upload my music for sale online and I started selling merch that was print on demand and I started setting up these different things where I was making money in my sleep without me being there, well, then I started to increase my income. 
and I started to make more money and I started to invest in time in making things that continued to pay me over and over and over again. This could be real estate, right? This could be an ebook, an audio book, like I've talked about. Like it takes me just as much time to write this book once, but then I can sell it over and over and over again. Right now, if I go onto YouTube, people are listening to my music on Spotify. Like you're in the right business with music. That is Swiss dollars. You just need to probably promote it and market it even harder, but you've got to change the mindset and sever your earning ability from time. That's what multimillionaires and billionaires do. It's not about them putting in the time. It's about doing work once and then getting paid over and over and over. Most people work, 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 get paid, work, 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 get paid. Where entrepreneurs that are earning Swiss dollars, they work, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid, work, get paid, get paid, get paid, get paid. Get paid. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Post below this video if you're gonna get yourself some Swiss dollars and make sure you watch this video for more inspiration. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video that can help somebody.